How's it going everybody? My name is Muddlecore and welcome back to another Call of Duty mobile video. This video is a very high request type video. So if you guys are new to the channel or if you guys are one of the few people who wanted to know something like this and want to know more tips and tricks on how to get nukes, how to level up fast, how to you know rank better how to play better just anything knowledgeable about this game i can help you guys not only in the live streams that we do every single day but in the uploads that we do every single day so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more call of duty mobile videos and live streams but anyways let's jump straight into today's video we're going to be talking about the fastest way to level up in call of duty mobile and more specifically the easiest way to level up in call of duty mobile because a lot of people you know a lot of the videos that I have seen, a lot of the high view videos that I've seen, they haven't mentioned one thing very particular, and that is game modes. I'm gonna talk about two very specific things, and I'm gonna show you guys on the screen. That is one, game modes, and two, classes. Those are gonna be the most important things that we're gonna be focusing on in today's video, and I'm gonna talk about some game modes that aren't even out in the game yet. I'm gonna give you guys some insider information about a game mode that is so good it's better than the current best game mode to level fast in. Alrighty, so before we continue, I really quickly want to say that the reason why I am 91 was because just a few days before the game was released, I was able to get in the Canadian beta or soft launch and that allowed me to level up to maybe level 30 before the game officially launched. And so, it gave me a little bit of a head start and actually if we scroll down on my friends list and try to find some higher levels like for example orange he's level 143 or if we go down to froach or sub to viper or jkc gaming or ferg or any of those people they're already maxed out they're already level 150 which is the highest possible level you can get if we go over here you can see that the highest possible level you can get if we scroll all the way is maxed out at level 150. A lot of Call of Duty fans are probably waiting and wondering if there's gonna be prestiges in the game, and I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that there will be because I love the prestige systems in all the previous Call of Duties. Okay, so the reason why them and myself kind of had a head start was because we were able to play the Canadian beta or the Canadian soft launch, um, and some of those guys who are already level 150 got to play the game a month or even longer before the game was released nothing against those guys they worked their asses off they grinded and they're some of the top and best players in the game i just wanted to make you guys aware that that is one way that they were able to level up fast but as leveling and while leveling up i realized that there are a lot of key things that you need when leveling up let's gonna jump or let's just jump in straight into the loadouts first and then we'll talk about so we are talking about two things the classes the loadouts and the uh, game modes. Those are the two biggest things you need to know about leveling up. There are a few little extra things that I'll let you guys know in a second, but let's talk first about the classes. Now, if we scroll through every single one of my classes, almost all of them, at least three out of four of the ones that I'm using right now, have something very similar, and that is the amount of perks that look the same on the three out of four classes. This class right here is my ranked class. It's basically my tryhard class. It's when we play Search and Destroy or any of the ranked game modes. And I am going to be making a video talking about so much more other than just how to level up fast easy. But the few perks that I do choose, that I always choose, are perks that help me out, level up faster, play faster. And, you know, basically this, this loadout here is a nuke loadout. More specifically, Sca Vulture. It used to be called Scavenger in other games. This allows you to pick up ammo from kills, and it basically allows you to constantly fight, be in the fight, never have to run out of ammo and stuff like that. It basically lets you keep on moving nonstop. And what does that mean? That means you're going to get more kills in the game and more experience level up faster. But the biggest thing that I have on every single class is this thing right here. Hardline increases points earned by killing enemies by 25%. That means that you are going to be leveling up 25% faster when you have this perk on. So instead of getting 100 points per kill, you get 125 points per kill. And that just slowly adds up 
and you're gonna be leveling up way faster than other people who have other random class perks that you know aren't gonna help them out now I do love all the other perks and they each have their own unique specialty to them but if you want to level up fast I would highly suggest these three perks you unlock them very early on as a beginner fast recover increases HP recovery rate by 35% and literally I've leveled up all the way to level 91 and by this weekend we are gonna hit level 100 we've been grinding a lot and uh, the I've been using this setup I've been using the scythe which is a weapon that everybody gets very early on and I also for my score streaks I've been using a UAV hunter killer drone and predator missile because I want to prove to you guys that everybody can level up fast everybody can have the same setup and i basically have the same setup this entire time and i probably could have been level 100 by now but this entire time i've also been multitasking and leveling up weapons so a lot of these weapons that you see here like the hg40 and stuff these are weapons that i am leveling up because i don't really like using my experience cards i like learning and using and figuring out if this is a good weapon on my own personally so a lot of my weapons like this one this one the Type 25, AK-117, um, the M4 LMG, or no, wait, not that one, not that one. The S36, the M4G series, all these weapons, the PDW, all these weapons are maxed out. There's another maxed out S36. And so these are weapons that I just choose and I level up, and then once I max them out, I just go on to another one. That kind of allows you to experience the game, experiment with other weapons while you're leveling up. Now, a lot of people might be like, okay, well, why are you using the basic score streaks, the ones that you start the game with? Why not use any of the other things? You can, but more kills you get with your gun and stuff like that is going to give you more experience. When you use the VTOL, you get barely any experience because of how little XP you get per kill. You get like 10 or 15 XP per kill, which is just ridiculous. It's such a small amount, and the VTOL is just something that I rarely use. So in terms of classes... One of the biggest things that you guys can do is make like a nuke setup or just a setup that has hardline. Hardline is one of the best things you can get. Another thing that I would like to recommend is have assault rifles or some machine guns or a weapon that you are very comfortable with. So let's say you're really good with snipers and you want to level up fast. Then rock a sniper. You get 30 kills a game. You're just destroying. You're going to be leveling up very fast. Play the game for a couple hours. You're 10 levels higher. And... That is definitely one way you can do it. Um, if you like, for example, the S36, an amazing LMG, then just get used to using the LMG. LMGs are another really, really great weapon. But for beginners, assault rifles, submachine guns, very powerful, very good, and very lightweight. Um, sniper rifles and LMGs make you run slower. And I am going to be talking about this in other videos in the future. Um, I'm going to give you guys a lot of tips and tricks about some machine guns, light machine guns, sniper rifles, shotguns, you name it. If you guys came to this video wondering what the perfect, what the best setup you guys can use, well, I would suggest maybe using the AKS-74U or using the M4. Those two are very good guns. Level them up, get some good perks, um, or I guess get some good attachments for those weapons. Then use these perks, Fast Recover, Vulture. And very, very specifically, you have to use Hardline to level up fast. It's very good. You can use the Scythe. It's a very, very good weapon. Very good operator skill. You can use a grenade, stun, whatever. But that's my recommendation. Use whatever you're comfortable with, and you'll be leveling up fast in no time. Now, this is just one part of the two parts that you need to do in order to level up fast. The next thing that you need to do is choose the right game mode. Now, currently... There are only Frontline, Team Deathmatch, Domination, and Search and Destroy that you guys can pick. Domination is literally the best possible game mode to level up. You will watch every single video and they're going to say Domination is the best game mode to level up. Any game mode that's going to last a long time, allow you to get tons of kills in a short amount of time, use your kill streaks, use nukes, use whatever you're going to use, that's going to be the best game mode to level up fast. So Domination is one of the best game modes. You stay in the game, you level up, and... You just want to extend the game the longest you can. If nobody captures the points, the game can last forever. If a team captures A and the other team captures C and nobody captures B, the game's going to last long and you want the game to last long. But Domination isn't even the best game mode. If a lot of you Call of Duty fans remember Gun Game, 
that is a game mode that will come out eventually and was out just a few weeks before Call of Duty Mobile was released. Another game mode that was out and another game mode that I think is going to be even better to level up in Domination or then Domination is Hardpoint. This game I feel like will last longer, allow you to get more kills because rather than three points that the enemies and everybody is spread out upon, Hardpoint brings it to one location, meaning it's more fights, you can get more kills, and it's easier to destroy. It's easier to play the game and level up faster, and that's one of the best game modes. So whenever they do release Hardpoint, or any game mode that lasts a really long time, Ground War, if they have Ground War in this game where there's tons of, it's 20 versus 20, that's going to be even better. The more kills you can get, the more longer the game lasts, the higher amount of experience you're going to be get for staying in the game, stuff like that. And again, you guys might be like, okay, well, he's on the iPad. And no, no, for those of you who are wondering, I'm not on the emulator. This is my iPad. It's hooked up to the Elgato. I have played on the iPad, and I also do play on my OnePlus. The OnePlus device is the other phone that I've leveled up with, and I've probably played around five or six hours, maybe more, on my OnePlus device. So I've also leveled up on this account, on this device. So the the method works. Domination is the best. If you really want to be picky, you could choose Domination on Nuketown. And that's the fastest, best map to play because it's just crazy. But again, it's going to be your preference. But the main thing that you guys want to take away from this is one, the game mode, Domination. Two, the classes. First, make sure your loadout is something that you know you can use. And make sure you more specifically have hardline. If you're trying to go after nukes, trying to, have to go after long kill streaks, make sure you guys have Voltra as well. Another thing that I would like to add, some little side things, is join a clan. Join a clan as soon as you can. Because look at here. 5% XP bonus for clan members at the end of the battle. You get more XP for playing with your clan members. So if I invite clan members, if I go to multiplayer and I invite clan members onto my team... So I invite these two to my team, Sandy and Mia. They join my team and we play. We're going to all get more XP for being in a clan together. And if we go back to the clan, currently my clan is level 2. And if we go down here, your clan get, can go up to level 10. Once you level up your clan more, you're going to get more perks and more rewards and more experience together. So it's one of the little side things that I wanted to give you guys. One of the little things that I wanted to throw in there saying, yeah, you can definitely... Level up faster by playing with friends and more specifically playing with clan members. Another side thing that I wanted to add is Battle Royale. If you win the matches in Battle Royale, because of how long the games last, the games last anywhere between 14, 15 to 20 minutes, usually around the 15 minute mark, you get a lot of experience for being in that match because of how long the match time is. And if you prefer Battle Royale, it is another great way to level up in the game. But I think... That's about it for today's video. We are going to be making future videos talking about tips and tricks on how to get nukes. We have made a video similar to that in the past, but um, I think we're going to make a new one. We're going to make a new video talking about, or, or future videos talking about tips and tricks for submachine guns, light machine guns, all that fun stuff. I want to, you know, do all that for you guys and help you guys. And of course, after this video, a very, very soon future video that's going to be coming out is going to be my settings video because I know a lot of you guys are asking about my settings. And I'm not only going to give you guys settings for my iPad, which a lot of pro players, a lot of players are giving you guys just settings for their iPad. I'm also going to be giving you settings for my phone device because I play on both of them. So... We've got all those videos in the future lined up for you guys. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave a like. And if you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, or future video ideas, make sure you guys leave them in the comment section below. And again, please remember to subscribe. We're trying to grow in the Call of Duty mobile scene. Call of Duty has literally been part of my life since 2007. I've been playing Call of Duty since Modern Warfare, the original one. I rank grinded in that, and I grinded all the way up until, I guess... Modern Warfare 2 is when I kind of stopped playing Call of Duty. Um, and now that it's back in my life, I'm absolutely loving it. So make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot to me. And I hope you guys learned some tips and tricks from today's video. My name is Metalcore, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.